Well, hey guys, how are you? It is after Christmas. It is actually after the new year, January 2nd, I think it is. I don't know, because I'm on straight up vacation mode. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still in my pajamas. I've got a mess behind me because we did a big organizing project today. And I thought I would check in and say, hey, it has been a long time since we've chatted. Um, Christmas, it was, it was crazy. Um, it was a bit of a rough day for me. Um, I don't know. I think December was a really emotional month for me. And um, I feel like come December 26th, I just really felt like I could breathe. And it wasn't because I was stressed out about anything. It was just I really felt like God was teaching me a ton of stuff in December. And um, Christmas, I actually melted down uh, because... Of back to my whole best laid plans things happening um, I had a big disaster that happened on Christmas morning and I was just so undone and all my plans of having the family over for Christmas um, dinner and stuff went by the wayside and we ended up going to my in-laws house that evening and it was a good Christmas so please don't get me wrong it was just crazy um, I attempted to vlog and I had a big blubbering, crying story in my vlog and I just thought, I don't want to burden you guys with that, with all my emo-ness. So anyways, I've just taken some time um, to relax and enjoy uh, the time off. Aubrey still has one more week off from school, which is really fun. We've been doing a lot of organizing projects. Um, I've been trying to share a few things on Instagram stories. I'm not that great at it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm not that great at social media in general. I just kind of, it is what it is, and when I feel the strike to post, I do. Um, but I'm really, I've really tried to break that, that, I don't even wanna, I don't even know, I, that chain that's been on me with social media. Um, so I, I post when I post. Um, but all that to say, I did make a Facebook um, page for, my YouTube channel and for some other stuff that's coming down the pike in my life and I will leave that link somewhere probably down in the description box um, anyways hi guys I hope you're doing really well um, we're doing good here we are doing good I'll give you a sneak peek of my organizing project and I'm gonna do a whole video around it more or less the system has been in place for about a year now um, I just went through and cleaned it because it's a spot for my kiddos and well you'll see okay so this is the command center part of the command center in our kitchen it is um, okay, gonna... this cupboard here that's kind of um, next to my stove it's this really long one up on top I'll just show you this is where we keep that's that's makeup <laughs> this is where we keep our medicine and some emergency supplies so this um, is our command center. I still have to deal with the top a bit. Um, I need to go through, I still need to deal with the top a bit. Um, I just need to go through the file boxes and I threw some uh, letter things back there because I just didn't have time to move the things and put them in properly. Anyways, this is the system. It's everything for my kids' um, art supplies. So... I'll just show you back here really quick. I'll go through all of this. This is actually three deep. Um, it's a really, really deep shelf. So I'll show you with you later how we organize it all. But I went through, cleaned it up, recycled a bunch of stuff. Um, my purse generally lives down there. <laughs> and I've got a cookbook open because I'm making dinner. And I needed to see how long um, I needed to cook my food for. So anyways, that's a little bit of an update about us. Shane heads back to work tomorrow. Um, we are finishing up some projects around here. He's working on the board and bat and goodness knows if that'll get done uh, tonight. I'm guessing no. Um, and Christmas is still needing to head back into the garage. I've kept a few things out. I'm going to do a tour of my winter decor probably pretty soon. I'm only going to keep it up until um, about the end of January I'm thinking. But we in Northern Ontario have winter long about May. No joke. Um, we still sometimes get snow mid-May. It's crazy. So um, 
we're in for the long haul with winter, so it, I felt no need to take down some of my little trees and the twinkle lights and things like that. So I'll share with you a tour of that later. My kids are screaming. I need to get my dishes done, and I just thought I'd check in and say hi. Hey. So my hope is that maybe I'm going to try and vlog little bits and snippets throughout the week and then just do one big vlog post later. But if I keep chattering away, it's going to be one really long vlog and who's got time for that? Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. It feels so good to talk to you again. It really does. I've missed you. So I wanted to share with you a really easy, simple, simple dinner that is kind of, um, I don't know, it's a good dinner for company, I think. It's just delicious. So it's from this Taste of Home Fast Fixes with Mixes cookbook. I rarely ever use this anymore because I'm on Trim Healthy Mama and um, a lot, not a lot of stuff will work um, that's in a box mix for Trim Healthy Mama. However, this is a recipe that I've made several times over the years and it's so delicious. It's pork chops with apples and stuffing and so basically all it is is um, six pork chops and a package of um, stuffing mix and then a can of pie filling, apple pie filling. So what you do is you just put the apple pie filling on the bottom of the dish. You brown your pork chops in like a saute pan and then you put them on top of the um, apple pie filling and then you put a box of stuffing mix on top. You cook this you cook the stuffing mix like normal and then you just spoon it on top. I've actually added two boxes because my family really likes stuffing. I'm obviously not eating on Trim Healthy Mama plan tonight. <laughs> um, but this is what we're doing for dinner. And then you bake this. So you bake it at 350 for 35 minutes um, and you cover it. And then the last 10 minutes um, you uncover it. So wait a minute, let me just, I'm going to read the recipe. Um, cover and bake at 350 for 35 minutes, uncover and then bake another 10 minutes longer until the meat thermometer reads 160. So anyways, it's really good and super quick to put together and delicious. My little ones are just crafting away. This is one reason that we needed to organize the craft closet because they love, love, love to craft. I gave them some old um, Martha Stewart punches that I had from when I was scrapbooking and um, I'm letting them kind of and, use those. And my class has some. You do? Yeah, when I was in kindergarten we had a heart one and um, a unicorn one. Awesome. Well, hey guys, happy Thursday. <laughs> happy Thursday. Um, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I have been exhausted lately. Um, sorry. Like, straight up exhausted. And I am not at all sure why. Um, I'm sort of getting the same amount of sleep. Yikes. I'm getting the same amount of sleep that I normally do. And in fact, I've actually been falling back asleep until like 8 or 9 o'clock. Um, the kids get up and they play or I will grab them breakfast and then I fall back asleep and I've gotten into a really bad habit of doing that but I'm just utterly exhausted. And I think that it's because I've been off Trim Healthy Mama and I think it's just an accumulation of weeks being built upon weeks of eating poorly and just completely neglecting my body um, and what I put into it. And I sort of went off plan around um, American Thanksgiving because I just, we were traveling and um, I wanted to just be able to eat whatever I wanted to eat. And I did not want to have to stick to pl my plan um, when there was delicious things like stuffing and cakes and cookies and all the yummy goodness. And so I sort of decided to just stay off plan up until Christmas as well because again all the cookies and everything um and i think that my body is just feeling the effects of all of the sugar and the sugar high sugar low and the crashing and i've been beat um this morning i actually got up uh kind of on time it was like about 6 30. i got up i had my quiet time and that uh, energized me until about 20 to 8 and then I crashed. I was so tired. I just laid on the couch until Colt woke up about 8 and um, I didn't fall asleep but I just kind of closed my eyes and rested and then I was back up and had a normal kind of day. Not not really super busy um, 
and then I crashed again, like around, um, around three o'clock. I fell asleep. Sorry, <laughs> I, had to, I had to cut that because a little someone ran in here without his pants or undies on because he went to the washroom and needed some help. Um, anyways, I just, I don't know, like I just kind of wanted to fill you in on where I am health-wise um, to say that if you've fallen off the track of healthy eating or exercising or whatever it is, you can get back on plan and... Um, and you can do it. Um, I ate all on plan today uh, and I was really satisfied and felt good in doing that and surprisingly I have... Do you want to go potty? Yeah, I My sakes, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm feeling a little better today. My energy is still kind of quite low, but I think it will be a couple days till I get it back up where I need to be. Um, there's a Trim Healthy Mama drink uh, that's good for your adrenal glands. I don't have lemons, and that's one of the main things in it. And um, so if Shane comes home today and is, says he's going to stop the store, then I'll have him pick me up a few lemons for that. I think that will be good for me. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do... So my apple cider vinegar drink, my good girl moonshine, because uh, that gives you energy, and I just, I, I need this back in my life, so I'm excited about that. Um, it is now 5 o'clock, I need to get some dinner going, we're just going to have leftover ham and some veggies, and I'm not sure what else. Um, I'm excited, because tonight I'm going to plan. I just got done watching um, Carrie Grace. Um, my gal, Nikki. <laughs> she did uh, her um, the, her planner video for like, what planners that she's using for the year. And I'm really excited. So I want to go and start to try and print my inserts off and get my planner set up. Um, my friend gave me a new uh, printer over the Christmas season and we've got to get it all set up. We had initially tried to set it up and the paper kept getting jammed. So I got to go monkey with that tonight and try and get that going. So that's kind of the evening. Um, I'm looking forward to putting some germs to paper because I've been so exhausted that I haven't quite done that as much as um, I normally do. I've done some, but not as much as I really like to do. So anyways, that's the update. That is the update for today. I'm sorry there's not a whole lot of action happening, but I did just kind of want to fill you guys in and, and say, hey, this is where I'm at in my life. And I'm going to finish my dishes. I'm going to um, throw some ham on to heat up. And then I'm going to work on my laundry room because that's a pit. It's a pit. So let's go. So it's 6.30 and Shane's not home yet, a um, little odd for him, he's about a half hour late uh, and I haven't heard from him. So I'm going to give him a call and find out if he's alright. I don't usually like to call uh, when I know he's on the road because we have um, like you, uh, zero like distraction laws, like you can't, I don't really think you can really use a GPS to be honest, so I don't like to try and risk that. We've had a blizzard all day so I'm hoping that he's fine and okay but he travels that highway that is just notorious for accidents um and he travels another highway too so mm, you think I might give him a little call and see where he's at and hopefully everything's okay I'm gonna finish up the dishes and then get my children to bed they have been kind of snipping and not fighting but just 
we've been cooped up in our house and I don't know, just starting to wear on, on people, I think. So I'm gonna give my husband a call. Let's hope all is well. All is well, he's just working late. He was just undressing when I called. Um, they change out of their work clothes at the mine and so he doesn't bring all that home. Um, so he's still, oh, he'll still, he won't be here till sometime after seven. So I'm gonna finish these dishes really quick and then get my babies to bed because mama needs a break tonight. Cause we're gonna play. What do you have here? Um, so this is my science experiment that I got for Christmas. <laughs> and um, there's something by the rocks that oh might be oh ice. Oh oh and um, there's ice on the rocks. You must us. You must us. I'm not a monster. That means the cross. You got crystals, you're growing crystals, you and daddy. Yeah. You're starting to get some stuff. Cold tea, settle down bud. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you a really quick sneak peek at my planner that I'm putting together. Um, this is the Recollections brand planner from Michaels and I am L-O-V-E, loving it. Um, it's so nice. Um, and so I bought this actually last year because I was going to move into an A5, but never did. Um, and I love how this matches this. Um, I never went into an A5 because I just couldn't, I couldn't afford a new binder for it. I just didn't want to spend a hundred bucks on an A5 planner. I have two personal planner from Filofax that I've never once used. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. You can see them right there. I love them with all my heart, but um, personal planners are just too small for me, and I'm thinking that I might do something with them this year, but uh, anyways, it was wasted money, so I didn't want to get an A5 planner and sink a lot of money into it if I wasn't going to use it, and this I got with a 40% off, no, no, 50% off coupon. Um, they're $40 here in Canada, so I paid like 20 I think. I think that's what I paid. Um, anyways, I'm going to go through a whole in-depth video, but I just thought because I'd kind of been chatting about my planner that I would just show you really quick. So these are my inserts just roughly printed out, and I was just trying to figure out if the spacing was right and the colors and whatnot. Um, and I'll go more into depth with these later, but this is just a quick peek. So I'll have um, a monthly goals page. And then on the back is going to be um, some notes. I changed the, um, I made this a bold font that I did with the underlines and I changed it to like a robin's egg blue. So it'll be like this color. Um, and it won't be on this paper. I'm sending this off to Staples to be printed. This is just some really cheap um, computer paper that I had. And this is actually on cardstock because I ran out of computer paper. So then I'm going to have like a weekly goal focus page. And this will be kind of a spot that I can kind of tend to every week and get my thoughts and focus down like a menu. I'll have a place to record my menus. Um, birthdays and events that are coming up that week, some goals, um, a Bible verse to dwell on. And again, I'll go into way more detail on this when I actually do my walkthrough of my planner. Um, this is just kind of a really quick sneak peek. So, and then I have um, another notes page. This is what I ended up doing. That's it, um, darkened up. And then so you've got your week on two pages and um, this will kind of just be where I can lay out the whole week. I won't have specific things. Um, uh, I won't go into too much too much depth, I guess I should say, on each of the days. I'll have the highlights of the days and things that I need to accomplish that week on that particular day, any appointments and things like that, so I can just have everything laid out. Um, and easily look at it, but I won't be doing a whole lot of planning on this particular set of inserts. Um, I remember 
this moment so for like cute funny things my kids said or just anything significant that happened um, a spot to record prayers and then connection and notes so just um, another kind of spot for notes and then on the back is more note paper and I practiced writing on it to make sure that the spacing was right um, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell on the computer and it turned out perfect and then lastly these are my um, daily inserts so I plan to do um, the majority of my planning on daily pages I like the idea of having a fresh start each day and um, I have a little spot here for something or to record really important things um, and they're not dated so I can add in the dates because I know myself and some days I'll use these and some days I won't and I just didn't want to be stuck with having a bunch of dated pages that I'll never get to um, a quote um, a Bible verse and then I have all this blank area to write lists and to do my planning and so I'm free to use stickers and things on um, this area one of the problems that I was having when it came to purchasing inserts was that a lot of them had a schedule and I don't live by a schedule I'm a stay-at-home mom um, I have my routines and roughly we do the same things each time each day but there's no need that I need to write any of that out in a schedule and so it was a lot of wasted space so that is the main reason I decided to do my own. I have a spot for um, meals and then the prep that I need to do, um, keeping track of my water, which is really important to me, and then also exercising. So um, that is what they're going to kind of look like. And this is just um, bad printing because I had set up my printer tonight and I was trying to see which way the paper got fed into to you know do double sided and whatnot. So. That's kind of a peek at the inserts. I think I'm just going to buy a calendar insert on Etsy because um, I don't have the wherewithal in me to actually do that. I just, it's beyond my comprehension. So um, that's just kind of a sneak peek and once I get it all completed, I will show it uh, in a video on YouTube. Well, that is kind of it for today and um, my thought had been that I was going to vlog a week long and show you with you snippets of kind of each day. However, I've talked a lot and <laughs> um, that's okay I guess. Um, hopefully you made it to the end. <laughs> um, anyways, I think my hope is that to maybe try and do um, weekly vlogs or to share you with you a little snippet of each day. but. I tend to like to talk to y'all, and um, that was the case of this video. wanted to fill you in on some things and um, just say, hey, after the holidays, I kind of dropped off the face of the planet and wanted to let you know why. I just needed some time um, to collect myself and get back in the swing of things. So anyways, I'm going to go finish uploading this. It's 11:30, and I'm gonna finish watching one of the Walton's episodes. I got the complete set of Walton's DVDs for Christmas, and I'm so obsessed with them. I love them so much. So I'm gonna go finish up watching the episode that I'm watching and get this video uploaded. So hopefully you'll get to see it ASAP. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for those of you who checked in to see how I'm doing. I appreciate you all so much. Um, you're the best and I'll see you in my next video.